Previously on the home front. I got no Bransky. It's gonna pick up where I left off. Do that I've been doing if we hadn't have fought. But I'm gonna marry Sarah. I'm no Robert Browning. I could never write a poem. All I can tell you is that the most romantic thing I could imagine would be to grow old with you. <sighs> Your sister can be hard to live with. Tell me something I don't know. Make up with her. Linda. Hank, I don't want to fight. Stay down! Stay down! Are you all right? Yes! Sarah! Sarah? curtain has descended across the continent. Behind that line, my the baby's finally asleep. Where are you going? In the hospital. I won't be gone long. See if there's anything I could do for Hank. How's Gina? Upset. Hank won't want you there. What are you talking? He's my oldest friend. Whose wife was shot by a unionist. Leave that off. It was not one of us who pulled the trigger. Who else would shoot at Hank? Nobody was shooting at Hank. It was a goon aiming for Linda. Oh, you can't know. Where did you get that? Compliments of Adolf and the Crowd Brigade. Well, kindly get rid of it. Caroline, keep it while I'm out. I'm not touching that thing. Be sensible. I'm the president of the local. It's very easy to find out where we live. I might be next on their list. Then why are you going out? Hank's my friend. I want to help him if I can. How can I stay here now? You frighten me like this. Somebody's got to stay with Gina, just in case the baby needs something. Stay in her flat. Nobody's after her. And this is all you got to do. One, two, three. Use two hands. Okay. You know, just in case. Now keep the light off, keep the doors locked, and stay away from the windows. Okay? the Communist Party, which were very in all these eastern states of Europe, have been raised to preeminence and power far beyond their numbers, and are seeking everywhere to obtain totalitarian control. You got to act, sin, to wait the positive, eliminate. The negative and latch on To be affirmative Don't mess with Mr. In-Between You gotta spread joy Up to the maximum Bring gloom down to the minimum Have faith or pandemonium Live up to walk upon the scene To illustrate my last remark Don't in the way No way in the arms did they do just when everything looks so dark? Man, they said you got to accent. You ain't the positive healing. Might hate the negative and last on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. No. In between. And the French government agreed to recognize the tiny nation of Vietnam, a coastal territory on the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, as a free state within the Indo-Chinese Federation of the French Union. In state news, police in River Run refuse to speculate on a motive for the assassination-style shooting of housewife Mrs. Henry Metcalf. Despite the connection, both Metcalf and his sister have to the current labor dispute between Sloan Industries and Local 311 of the National Labor Alliance. You should go to the hospital. They'll take it the wrong way. Who can take an expression of concern the wrong way? The public can. <sighs> I'm not about to face a bunch of reporters who'll ask if I'm only showing concern to get into the papers and if we could have prevented this by keeping the plant open. 
I've been thinking about Mike all night. I've always wondered if we could have saved him if we had been there after the accident. Maybe there's something you can do for this young woman. You feel any responsibility for this, Mr. Sloan? Good God, no. What a question. Would you have avoided the tragedy by keeping the plan open? Don't blame me for what those hooligans do. Ask Al Khan to account Quiet for down, them. please. Oh, come on. Miss Metcalf. Charlie, thanks for coming. How is she? Still in surgery. What did the doctor say? Nothing. Where's Hank? In the bathroom. He hasn't come out. Would you... I'll go see. Yeah, where? Uh, down the hall. Mrs. Metcalf, Mrs. Sloan and I are so sorry for this tragedy. Thank you. I don't want you to worry about the expense. Excuse me. I just heard. I'm so sorry. We succeeded in removing the bullet. She live? We can answer that question in 24 hours. What are the chances? I've seen people in worse conditions survive. In 24 hours, we'll know more. Thank you. Want me to call a doctor? Oh, I should get the hell away from me. Hank? We didn't do this. Hank? Sarah's out of surgery. How is she? Doctor says if she survives the next 24 hours... She'll be in a private room in about an hour. I don't want anyone else in there with her, Mom. No one! Nobody but me! Send them all away! Dr. Moss, call your office. Dr. Moss, call your office. Are you pleased with your handiwork, Mr. Kahn? Go to hell, Mr. Sloan. Uh, maybe that's not such a good idea. I'll make you some more milk. No, thank you. Would you close the basement door? I feel better with something in your stomach. I feel better with the lights on. It's not... I know, I don't want them on. Well, we could, we could turn the porch lights on. In fact, we probably should. <laughs> Sorry. We don't lock our doors around here. We don't even have a lock on the back door, and I don't know where the key to the front door is. Do you know, Linda? No. No. And now we're jumping at shadows because... because we can't turn on the lights. We should have stayed at the hospital. There was nothing we could do. They said 24 hours. Let me take you to a hotel. I think it's a good idea. We can tell the hospital where we are. All right. I'll be ready in a minute. You can get your stuff in the morning, Mother. I'll be ready in a minute. We really should hurry. I will be ready in a minute. In his Nuremberg trial, Nazi leader Hermann Goering declared himself a peace-loving friend of Jewish people and a soldier who considered Allied airmen his brothers. In regional news, police in the city of River Run now say that the bullet recovered from the shooting victim, Mrs. Henry Metcalf, came from a German military pistol. As yet, no witnesses to the police violence have come forward. The crime is... Maybe it's Charlie. If he has a key, he'd come through the other way. He's waking the baby. Let me look, see who it is. What are you doing? 
in here. I have to speak with Gina. I'll open the door. It's your father-in-law. Thank you. It's so late. I'm glad you're all awake. Gina, I want you and the child to come to our house. It's the only place that's safe. And Caroline, you're welcome too, of course. Well, I, Wait a minute. I don't, I don't. Nobody is going anywhere. Can you put the best interest of the child first? Can you take your own damn advice? They wouldn't be sitting here in the dark if you hadn't locked us out of the factory. Don't put this at my feet. Your people are responsible for this. My people? Yes. If one of my people is out taking target practice, then Gina is safer here, isn't she? We've hired guards. Watch out for his guards, Gina. I don't feel safe around his guards. Charlie, please. Anyways, you're only going to need one guard for every one of those great big windows in your great big house. You have no conscience, no scruple. Quiet. The baby. You scare her. Come home, Gina. This is my home. If anything happens to them, I'll consider you responsible. I already hold you responsible for everything that's happened so far. And remember, stand clear of those great big windows. Charlie. You better turn out that light. Please watch the baby. I, I need a glass of water. Charlie, the radio said the bullet that hit Sarah Metcalf came from a Luger pistol. Well, that, that doesn't surprise me, Caroline. She always brought them home by the thousands. Them and Mouse's as souvenirs were supposed to turn them in, but nobody did. All they know is it could have been anybody pulled the trigger. When your grandmother saw this, she took out a subscription to the paper for the first time in years. <laughs> she quit reading it when they endorsed Landon over Roosevelt, 36. I guess you won't be putting any union news in the scrapbook. I can't say that I'm happy they printed your name in regards to this. Yeah, well, they'll print whatever lies the Sloans tell them to print. I was saying that I'm not happy they printed your name, but I'm very proud that you're standing up for what you believe in. Uh, I never figured it'd come to this. Well, you can't always plan. Careful, son. I don't see anybody. Don't go out there. And the washboard fell and hit the lid of the garbage can. Oh. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we do not fear, though the earth do change, and though the mountains be shaken into the heart of the seas, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains tremble with the pride thereof. There is a river. The River Run housewife, struck by a sniper's bullet, remains in critical condition at St. Anne's Hospital. Police have no suspects. Statistics reported that a record 1.4 million workers were on strike during... God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her at the dawn of the morning. Proposed to return to work while contract details are submitted to a negotiator appointed by President Truman. But GM management rejected the unusual circumstances in the Metcalf shooting. It includes the fact that family members are involved in both sides of the labor dispute that has shut down Sloan Industries, the largest employer in River Run. Attorney General ruled that the University of Texas may refuse to admit Negroes as long as the state provides them. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. Jehovah of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our high and has called for the development of composite units made up of white and Negro Who soldiers. have made desolation in the earth. David Ben-Gurion has told the Anglo-American Commission of Inquiry that Jews in Palestine can defend themselves. Hussaini, leader of Arab Palestinians, says Arabs are willing to shed their own blood if necessary. The latest development. WREQ will resume broadcast at 5 a.m. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I 
will be exalted in the earth. Jehovah of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. She all right? There's no change in her condition, Mr. Metcalf. You should try to get some sleep. Before, when you made the team, Sarah and I are going to get box seats. Every home game we're going to, bro, I'm going to take off work. Congratulations. hours are critical and the first 12 are the most critical and they're almost up but what they know is a different question right anyway i'm glad you're here i can stretch my legs Tell me while I get some coffee. Sure. Okay. Just stay here. Don't leave her alone. Don't go anywhere. I don't trust anybody. Okay. I'll be right back. Something wrong. She, she's not breathing. Oh, 
Oh no. I asked you to watch her. I only wanted to get some coffee. I only wanted to get some coffee. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get some coffee. Thanks. Thanks for calling. She died. Do the police know who fired the shot? Well, I suppose we would have heard. Wireless won't be broadcasting for another half hour. Charlie, the police don't have any reason to come here, do they? Why come here? Should we hide the pistol? No, not until they catch you. Shot her. Officials at St. Anne's Hospital report that Sarah Metcalf, the young college co-ed shot yesterday by an unknown assailant, died at 4.27 this morning without regaining consciousness. Her husband, Henry Metcalf, was at her side. Mr. Metcalf is a decorated veteran of the European theater who returns to the bride to marry his high school less than six months ago. He has been serving as most... You should eat something. No. You don't look well. Are you coming down with something? No. I'm very sorry. I mean, to say that I'm sorry for my work here. I got behind with the laundry. Sarah was helping me out, bringing the dirty clothes down when they shot her. If she hadn't been there in that exact moment, if I hadn't been behind with the laundry... Ed. I know how silly it is to say that. And I know how true it is, too. Mother, they're here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm leaving. I think it's better if he doesn't see me here. I should stay away. I use your room? Of course. Thanks. Oh, I'm so glad you're home. Don't stand near the windows. Police officials will not confirm rumors that there has been a break in the case of the fatal shooting of Mrs. Henry Metcalf. They deny that any weapon was found at the site of the shooting. But reporters have learned that new information has been... Let's offer a reward. A thousand? Twenty-five hundred. Fine. And do something for the family. I told payroll to give Hank a 10% raise, effective immediately. We should pay the funeral expenses. I don't think that's a good idea. Why on earth not? People will misinterpret it. Well, why do we care? 
I don't want the public thinking that we're trying to atone, to buy absolution. I'd hate that. People will see this as evidence that we are admitting responsibility for the shooting, which I am in no way, shape, or form willing to do. After everything that has happened, I don't care what people think. The one good thing that has come out of this tragedy is that I am reminded again that I am only on this earth a short while and I'd better make the best use of my time. We can't limit ourselves to doing only what people approve of us doing. You're right. You're right. Ho Chi Minh, president of the new state of Vietnam in French Indochina, wrote President Truman asking for recognition. What are you doing? You're covering it up? Mom thought you wouldn't. We want are. To be you're reminded. covering it up. Oh, why don't we? And who cleaned up the blood? She thought it would be a constant what reminder. Are we gonna act like this never happened? Is that the plan of action? We're gonna act like fair and never lived. Is that the idea? This whole family wants to pretend Sarah never set foot in this house! That's okay, Monday. That's what you want. That's what you get. That's exactly what we'll do. Race all trace of her! Let's just pretend. She never took up space in this house. Hang on. Don't wants... worry. She's gone. She's gone. When he isn't looking, I want you to go out and bring her things back in, put them in the basement. Later on, he's going to want to have them. Linda, I have a quick errand to run, then I want you to come with me to the funeral home. Stalin's response to Churchill's description of communism as an iron curtain was to call the former British Prime Minister a firebrand of war. Stalin also denied Churchill's claim, made in a speech at Westminster College in Missouri, that Eastern Europe is under Soviet control. It's a terrible, terrible thing that's happened to your family, Anne. You have my deepest sympathy. Thank you, Doctor. It must be serious for you to come in today, of all days. I should have come in sooner. Now, let's see here. Uh... Blood pressure's normal. Period's regular? Yes. Change of life could come for you any time now. Chest pains? Along with what else I listed, I told your nurse that both my parents died of cancer. Also one of my aunts. And let's not presume the worst. With everything that has happened, I only want to know as soon as possible. Why didn't you see me sooner? you before they had some wonderful new planes at the aviation show one jet propulsion model travels faster than sound yeah, well why should anyone want to travel faster than sound well to get away from the jack benny program for one thing <laughs> yell if he comes outside Did you hear that? They caught the bastard. How did you find him? He turned himself in. It may have been remorse, or it may have been because his drinking buddies knew what he had done. Was he a member of Local 311? No, ma'am. He doesn't even work at the Sloan factory. He works for a parts supplier. Um, Ajax, Tool and Die. That's a non-union plant? He was laid off because of the Sloan lockout. According to his confession, he was very angry about it. At whom? The whole world, it seems like. My children. We would like to know which one of them was his target. Neither one. 
The sniper doesn't know anyone in your family. He says he didn't have a target, and we believe him. He saw your pictures in the paper. All he knew is that you were on opposite sides of the contract dispute at the Sloan plant. He had a few too many beers and drove here with some friends to raise a little ruckus so as to let you both know how unhappy he was with uh, his employment situation. His friends had no idea he had a gun. When the car stopped, he ran out on your lawn and fired. He only intended to break a window or so. Thought he might scare you into uh, settling. Thank you, officer, for coming over. You're very welcome, ma'am. You have my sympathy for your loss. He doesn't even know us. He doesn't even know us! <laughs> Abe, where are you? It's a relief, isn't it? In view of the circumstances, we won't be going to Havana, so... Please unpack the luggage. We're only on this earth a short while. And we thought we might put that vacation money to a more lasting use. Please give this to Pastor Harrington to do with as he sees fit. Thank you. Oh, he'll be very grateful, I'm sure. Mom, you should come and see what... What are you doing? Making sure my will's up to date. What should I say? What Hank is doing. Why are you doing that now? Oh, with everything that's happened, it just makes you think that you're only on this earth for a moment. And you should live each day as if it were your last. What in the world are you doing? I'm revising my will. Why? After everything that's happened, I'll sleep better if I know that I've dotted every I and crossed every T. Ruth, don't let this tragedy cloud your judgment. It's made my judgment crystal clear. We're only on this, sir. A, a short, short while, I know. You want to leave so much money to the Davises? They helped raise our son. They worked for us for how many years? Ruth, I admire the impulse, but I seriously doubt the wisdom of this. They wouldn't know what to do with money like this. They'd be like children in a candy shop. My mind's made up. I expect next you'll want to cave in to the union and reopen the plant. You're painting. Sarah hated these stains. Staring at them every day. She didn't complain, but I promised her I'd paint the room before spring. She was looking forward to two things. This, and she couldn't wait to see the forsythias in bloom. I can't do anything about the flowers. Mom, I don't even know what forsythia looks like. I'll show you. I'll mean so much to your brother. Sarah felt cooped up here, I know she did. I had the same experience with my in-laws. I lived for the first sign of spring after a long winter of no privacy, being cooped up in a house filled with semi-strangers who fought with each other every minute of the day. We don't fight. Oh. Not every minute of the day. It's too early. This isn't the only forsythia on Earth. I'm sure we can find plenty of them blooming.
cut them anyway. We'll bring them inside and force them in the heat. They'll open in time for the funeral. Are you sure? Well, if we cut a ton of them, maybe some of them will be open in time for the funeral. I'll get the water ready, and don't tell Hank, it'll be a surprise. Okay. Oh, I just remember where there are several other bushes. It was a very graceful ceremony. I was surprised there were so few flowers. I wonder, Mrs. Sloan, Mr. Sloan, if you gave any more thought to that money we asked to borrow some time back. What money? I told you. Oh, my mother's medical bills were quite substantial. I can imagine. But neither a borrower nor a lender be, as it says in the Bible. It doesn't say that in the Bible. Doesn't? Well, it should, because it's wonderful advice. Well, we, we thank you for considering our request. We have a better idea than a loan. Uh, we, uh, we were thinking of... Uh, a raise. A raise. Ten percent effective today. Thank you. <laughs> we're very grateful. <laughs> One of the most beautiful I've ever been to. We're so sorry, Hank. It's a tragedy at any age, but so young. At the same time, being young is a blessing. Isn't that the truth? You're young, you have plenty of time to settle down and have a family. What a mercy you didn't have children. They'd be missing their mother right now. She was a wonderful woman, from what everyone says. It's God's will, Hank, and who can fathom the mind of God? I'd like you to sing whenever you'd like in your memory. It's always been a tradition in our family. They've come to expect it. This crowd is a fine tribute to her. What in the heaven's name came over you? I've been precipitous in changing my will. I don't disagree, but what brought you to your senses? Come and see for yourself. Oh, 
butchered my poor Scythia. Butchered? There's no other word for it. Oh, some youngster's little prank. Prank? Prank? Ruth, <laughs> haven't you been telling me that we're, we're only, only on... on this earth a short while indeed, but during that time, my garden had better be left alone. And if Abe and Gloria want to keep their jobs, they can jolly well pay better attention to what goes on around here. I'm already sorry I threw her things away. We kept them. Where are they? Downstairs in the basement. On the table. Oh, little brother. Sometimes. I told you the truth about what happened when you were overseas. What happened? Between Sarah and... That man she met. You know about that? She told me about the poem you found you wrote to her. You ever meet him? I never met any man she loved more than you. She said she was sorry you found out because... He was just a friend. She told me that, too. She wouldn't have said it if it wasn't true. See? Oh, my. It's a miracle, isn't it? Well, let's take them upstairs. All of them? Hank? Why not? Every one of you is a gift from God. Your father and I thought so when you were born, and I still believe it. We didn't always have money, but we knew God wouldn't give us a child unless he knew we could take care of it. God has a plan. Always a plan. Even in Sarah's death, even if we don't always understand it. God's plan for me. Oh, no. Is that why you changed your will? Why you went to the doctor? What? You have to tell us. Doctor? It's better if you tell us. Tell you what? If you're sick. Mom? We should know if you're... You're not dying. Dying? No, no, I'm having a baby. 